<laughs> and you gotta come back and this is the part where I say, hey everyone, it's Aubrey, recovering perfectionist, queen of distraction, and Josh. And this is the part where you say something truthful yet witty about yourself. Let's do work. <laughs> Today, Josh just wants to be really ambitious and clean out the pantry, which is something that we need to do badly. There really is no organization system necessarily, and I'm hoping that maybe if I just talk long enough that he'll just have everything pulled out. Anyway, we're just gonna jump into this and see how quickly we regret making this decision. pantry is empty. Josh just swept in here. I think that I am going to do a mini mop. Yes. Because it needs it. There were a bunch of random snacks that the boys have not eaten and I created a bag of it's a snack bag for the chickens so I know that they will appreciate it. Anything that's in here that's not moldy that's just not going to get eaten we try and send their way. We save on some feed and they think they're getting a luxurious treat. Is that a delicious broom handle? Now we just have to figure out what our system is going to be as far as putting everything back in here and figuring out what gaps we need to fill. I just did my first Azure Standard order about a month ago. I got 50 pounds of a good quality organic flour. 25 pounds of some organic cane sugar, and then like a 10 pound bag of organic rolled oats. And what else did I get? There was something, rolled oats and cornmeal. So we can just never run out of cornbread ingredient. That's all, <laughs> cornbread ingredient. Are you gonna eat this oatmeal? Oh yeah, I forgot I made oatmeal. What was I talking about? Okay. Decanting. Decanting. So I don't believe in unnecessarily decanting things anymore. I used to imagine having like a Pinterest worthy, perfectly organized pantry that had everything put in fancy jars, everything matched. But frankly, I now feel that is a waste of time and money and energy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anywho, when I did my Azure standard order, I thought I got ground cornmeal, but I didn't. That was out of stock. I did get it. whole wheat bread flour. Yeah, there, That's okay. what was in the other bag. So this is not useful. 
I probably should just put these oats in the old oat container that I had from the grocery store, but I am gonna put it in one of the fancy things that I have just because I have it, it's empty, and I might as well be using it. And I think that I wanna use that oat container for craft wrap now that I think about it. Boop. Ooh, I just figured something out. Oh. Where are those where are those chickpeas that I'm never gonna use? Oh yeah, I saw that too. Where's that tape I was using? Wait. Baby Wait. toy. Ooh, look, he's running. Ooh, you're a genius. I'm That's not, why I up. married you. For making baby shakers. Alec, look. Do you want this? Shake it. Hey! You can use it as a drum. Nice. You could also do that with it. What are you doing? I do some of my activities. You silly. Okay, we cleaned the pantry and reorganized it. And I don't know if it necessarily is a system that makes sense, but it's tidy. So I think that's the important part of it all. Those potatoes, we need to do something with. I got them like a month and a half ago, roughly to plant outside, but they weren't sprouted yet. And now they're starting to sprout. I think we're going to pop off the sprouts, shred them, and then freeze them. So yeah, cause I'm pretty sure it's too late to plant them. Yeah, we have some gaps that we need to fill, but I'm really happy with how this is looking. Alrighty, it is time to tackle the fridge. <laughs> I try not to have too much extra stuff as far as what we're not using or duplicates of things in the house refrigerator. Um, so I'm bringing out some, it's a whole chicken that I got at the grocery store. Then they were on sale 
normally whole chickens have been, let's see, this one was regular, $14.80. They've been, I've seen them as high as $20 and they were not quite half price, but this one was $8. So I grabbed three of those. I'll kind of bring those in so they get used. Sometimes I think that we end up forgetting about the stuff out here, like, like that's frozen pumpkin, more frozen pumpkin. Frozen bananas from like three years ago. And then the meat, and then our bulk rice I have frozen in here to kill any shenanigans. The last of my breast milk. Oh, that feels really sad. freezer really is not in too terrible of a state. I did just do a deep clean in here, I want to say about a month ago. So now I'm just re-familiarizing myself with what is in here. And I'm going to try and build, like I said, my grocery menu off of that. I've been trying to make our own popsicles. It's something that Jackson really, really enjoys doing. But it is obviously not a realistic option every single week. Let's see, I don't even know if this is a popsicle in here. He froze pickle juice one day to make print popsicles for his friends. Okay, just kidding. Those are disgusting. I need to clean those up. So one way I've been reducing our food waste other than giving stuff to the chickens is I will freeze what we don't use. So like these bananas I put in here, they're probably not brown and mushy on the inside. If you put them in the fridge, the skins do start to brown, um, but they're not at that state where it would be a banana that you would really enjoy eating unless you like a very soft, very sweet banana, which like my mouth is watering thinking about it and not in a good way. So these I will freeze and put in the freezer with the other frozen bananas that I have. The bag that was out in the garage is from a box of like, it was a 40 pound box of bananas that I got before Alec was born that I froze a lot of. And that's why I haven't gotten through them yet is because it was 40 pounds of bananas. But that is the last bag from that batch that I have. This celery is another thing that needs to get put in the freezer. Oops. Um, it's just, it's a little soft, but it can obviously still be used. I'm going to ask Josh to kindly chop this up for me so we can freeze it for soups and or other things that you use celery for. But this is, I think, past the point of being a delicious snacking celery. We've been out of town a couple times throughout the last couple weeks, so we're not as stocked as we would normally be but this is something that I feel that I have to do before I do any kind of grocery shopping, just because at this point, I feel like Josh and I are very disconnected with what is actually going on in our fridge and freezer. Meal planning is something that I struggle with. It is not something that I enjoy, primarily because we're going through a picky eating phase with Jackson that has been pretty discouraging. I'm at a point now where I don't enjoy cooking like I used to. Comment if you can relate. Please let me know if there's something that has worked for you. We've also found that we like to try new recipes and then we end up with a bunch of random things that we don't necessarily use on a regular basis. So we really just need to streamline the things that we eat in our home on a regular basis and try and avoid bringing in things that just take up space and linger and don't end up getting used. I don't mind having the basics laying around in bulk, but there are just some things that don't need to take inventory in my pantry, which ultimately ends up taking up inventory in my mind. I do not feel like we've perfected our shopping system, but I do feel like I'm getting pretty darn close to streamlining my grocery shopping just need to streamline the grocery list. Also, you'll probably notice there's not a ton of fruits and veggies in here. Like I said, we've been out of town.
thankful that that is crossed off of the to-do list, even though it was a very last minute decision to do this. As far as food waste goes, we were able to either give most everything to the chickens or send it to the compost. I think the only thing we actually threw away was some very moldy yogurt. I do feel like I can more confidently do a grocery shopping trip just to fill in some gaps. But for the most part, I think as far as like meat and dry goods go, we're fine. We just need to stock up on some more fresh produce. So that's that. See you in the next video. As always, I love you. Have fun and be kind. Thank you.